In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a Stilo Art Haru Izawa fountain pen with a Sailor Naginata Togi nib. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is a Stilo Art Kuruisawa fountain pen. I was traveling in Japan a few years ago in Osaka, and for some reason I, I went to a mall, and I did not realize that they were having a, a pen show there, but it was very cool to just randomly walk into one. I went to the Stilo Art stand, and you know the people were very nice, and I selected this water buffalo horn fountain pen, and they... I was able to select the nib that I want, which was a Sailor Naginata Togi nib, which they were able to fit to this pen while I waited. This is my first and only buffalo horn pen. Uh, it's a very pretty, you know, natural material, obviously. In terms of the design, it's extremely simple. You know, it's completely straight all the way through the cap and the body. It does round at the end here. And then it's a little bit narrower at the very end of the pen. Uh, so that you can post the cap, which it does quite nicely. Yeah, really no effort there to make that post. And then, you know, looking at the section here, it's, it's a small step down here, it's water buffalo. And then we have an, a black ebonite grip section. And this is a Sailor to Naginata Togi nib, which you can see denoted on the side by N and MF. MF is for medium fine, so... This is the medium fine version of that nib. And if we look at the side profile, you can see the point is a little bit different. It sort of slopes down this way. And when I do the writing sample, you'll see what that nib does exactly. Just takes a standard Sailor cartridge and converter. Really nothing special there. It's a it's a really nice pen. It's lightweight. I do like the, the material. It just it feels really, really nice. It's definitely similar, you know, in style to that the Hakase that I reviewed uh, a little while ago. I'll put a link to that up in the corner. Just very simple, handmade pen, really nice quality. And I think in terms of price, I paid something like five hundred dollars for this pen, which is really not a bad deal at all. I think a lot of the Stilo Art pens are actually a very good value because it's not that well known of a brand, at least in the United States, not like. Danny Trio or Nakaya. These pens are still relatively affordable and they also do some nice Raiden and Rushi type pens as well as wood pens. Let's do some measurements and then let's do a writing sample. So in terms of length we're looking at I'd say that's about 134 millimeters. So definitely a smaller pen but it is designed to be posted uncapped about 135 or sorry 125 I keep losing all of my rulers which is very fun but anyway um it's about 175 posted grip section this is the large size sailor nib this is just a 21 karat gold version of it but typical sailor decoration with the anchor in 1911 the year of their Founding some nice little scroll work along the end very good looking nib now in terms of the grip section It does flare out a bit and then the middle is sort of the thinnest point So it's about so at the widest point at the back here right before the threads. It's about 10.9 And in the middle 10.2 and towards the end 10.1. Yeah, maybe it doesn't flare out. Maybe it's more of an optical illusion I don't know. This is with like a very full cartridge 15.57 that's really light and then with the cap, 22.23. So this is a super comfortable size and weight. Uh, I really enjoy this pen. It's very nicely made, very comfortable to use. All right, let's do a writing sample. So the writing sample, I'm gonna be doing this on a Paper Mind Mitsubishi bank paper notebook. This is the company that I created because I love Mitsubishi bank paper. And for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Okay, so let's see if I can see how my spelling is today. This is a 
Stilo Art Karuizawa. And this is a sailor. Nope. <laughs> sailor Nagi Nata Togi Medium Fine Nib. And this is Sailor Black. Okay. Now, okay, we'll try fast writing. I would say performance is flawless. Uh, this is a really, really nice nib. It's a very, it's a very wet nib. The Naginata Togi, I believe, is used for uh, calligraphy, and basically, you can change the angle that you hold the pen, and that will change the way that the line width. So, if you hold it at a higher angle, it'll be more fine, and then at a low angle, well, let's see here. So pretty big difference there, so high angle and a low angle. And then you have your differences in the, the strokes here. So at a high angle, go this way, and then... So it's wider, so this stroke, the horizontal stroke, is wider than the vertical stroke. Although it's kind of hard to see there, maybe not as much up top. But you can get some nice line variation here depending on how you hold it. It's a very wet nib, so you know you need good paper like this for it, otherwise it can you know bleed through. Now in terms of reverse writing, I've never tried that on this. Oh my gosh, it's really, really fine. Pretty um, scratchy, but that's a pretty noticeable difference. It does seem like it can do it, and it's very fine. So actually, this is maybe one of the better reverse writers out there just because it, the difference is so big. In terms of flexibility, it's a 21 karat gold nib, so it's a soft nib. I wouldn't consider it flexible, but you can get a little bit there, but I really I don't recommend pushing on it. So what are my pros and cons for the Stilo Art Karuizawa Buffalo Horn Fountain Pen? Biggest pro, I think, is definitely that Buffalo Horn material. It's really nice. I love the organic look of it. It's very pretty. I like the simple design and I like that you get a choice of nibs when you purchase one of these and I was able to get a Sailor Naginata Togi nib which is really fun to write with. It's a very wet juicy nib and you know depending on the angle that you hold it you get different uh, line widths. It's a really cool special pen I think. I also think you know for around $500, and I don't know what the current price it would be today. It's a pretty good value, considering it's you know all made by hand. Other comparable Japanese fountain pens generally are more money. Um, now, in terms of cons, ordering these I think are a little bit harder. I know in the past, Stilo Art Kurosawa, they have come to like the San Francisco Pen Show, um, so ordering from them in person would probably be the best option or just buying from them at one of those shows. You know, their English information on their website is pretty limited. But other than that, I don't really have any other cons. So, do you guys like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.